What's going on everybody? It's Joey Bellis here with Optimal Performance Training. I'm making this video about a very important topic to me and the philosophy that we carry here at Optimal Performance Training and it's about body image. Um, I've had the opportunity to speak about body image to a lot of different people that have, have come through our doors and I just kind of wanted to elaborate on that because Nick asked me to uh, Nick asked me to speak to a certain person about my ideas and my philosophy and what I have with the whole body image issue in itself. And so not only did I want to make this for this certain person, but I wanted to make it for anyone else that was uh, maybe struggling with body image issues. And before I made this video, I was kind of like, ah, do I want to make this? Do I want to put it out there? And if you look right here, I have these boards. These are all, these boards are all full of ideas from last night and today that I would just write random ideas that speak to me when I talk about body image. And I set these boards aside and I had a client come in this morning and they were just off to the side and she stopped and she was reading them. And then she started taking pictures of them. And then she goes, do you mind if I send this to my friend? This is really good. And I was like, absolutely send it to your friend. And then she was telling me how her friend struggles with body image issues. So that just makes me want to put this out there even more. And to start off with this, I just want people to understand that I'm not trying to get people to agree with me, right? It's not about agreeing. It's about taking a deeper look and that's called seeing. And that's where I'm coming from. Because there's gonna be some people that really like this. There might be some people that this will offend. But this is what I stand for and this is what OPT stands for. So last night as I was talking with Nick, I started off with, I was writing about body images. Are you being pushed by your fears, your insecurities, your external reasons? Or are you being pulled by your passion, your love, your internal spirit? A lot of times when we talk about body image, people are, they have to look a certain way, right? We've become such a uh, external society, meaning we judge our own worth but what's on the outside, who likes us, who thinks we're attractive, if we're getting approved or appraisal um, by other people, external factors. And so a lot of times when it comes to working out or taking care of your health and your fitness, so many you know, dietitians or nutritionists or personal trainers or coaches, right? They're so fixated on how you have to look. The standard now right of what's considered healthy right to a normal person right that you get blasted with media and all these things these outside influences your definition of what's healthy of what's beautiful of what's sexy of what's in shape is if you have abs if you have a huge chest or these massive arms or you're just shredded from head to toe that's sexy then you're worth something then you're attractive then you're beautiful and it's such bullshit it's so wrong and it's crippling us as individuals it's robbing us of self-love and I'm speaking from a space of knowing when I first started training I've been training people now for 10 years and when I first started training people would not train with me because I didn't look like a trainer I literally would lose business because people are like you don't look like a trainer you don't look like a trainer you don't look like a trainer I never looked a certain way for my whole entire life I've never looked a certain way so I totally understand the whole body image and the insecurities of, of what it comes to look a certain way. And I also know how I got past that. And I think that's why I'm such a strong stand for that. And why I'm so passionate about this topic is because I know what it did to me internally struggling with these issues. And I don't want people going through that. Are you being pushed by your fears, your insecurities, your external reasons? Or are you being pulled by your passion, your love, and your internal spirit. And what I mean by that is, in the society that is surrounding us now, right, our culture, the media, it's you have to look a certain way in order to consider yourself attractive. You have to have a certain body mold to consider yourself sexy or wanted or attractive. And it's so wrong and it's so twisted and it's literally crippling us from the inside out. It's making people hate themselves, making people not want to try, want to pursue goals. Because if you're going to work out, your end goal should look like this. 
if you're gonna take on health and if you're gonna take on fitness, your end goal should be and look like this, right? You gotta have abs and you gotta have these arms and this chest and this ass. You gotta have all these external things because that's the definition of health and fitness nowadays. That's what's being put out there, right? And it's suffocating not only adults, but youth. And these youth eventually become adults. And now this pattern of, oh, I have to look a certain way, I have to look like this, I have to have these external features to consider myself in shape or healthy, right? Abs, it seems like abs is the new standard of what's healthy or what's attractive or what's sexy and it's so wrong and it's so twisted and it's such a poisonous way to think of not only yourself as a person but to look at other people as well. I'm not saying if you have those things or you want those things, you're a bad person, you're a poisonous person. What I'm saying is that shouldn't be your internal drive, right? That's an external push. You're not being pulled forward by your passions or love, right? You're being forced into this way. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't start to develop yourself as a person from the inside, when you get to those things, right? Oh, I now have the abs or I now have the arms and I now have this chest you're still gonna feel empty and hollow and unattractive inside. That's for real. I've had these people coming in and out of my studio over the past six going on seven years. I've been involved in this industry now for going on 10 years. And that also ties into like the whole, you have to be skinny, like skinny, the word like skinny. And I, I just hate that word. And the conversation that had sparked this thing with Nick and I about me talking to this certain person is because the dietitian that this person was seeing had her on like an 800 calorie a day diet, a thousand calorie a day diet to lose weight, right? Well, if you're eating under a thousand calories a day, it's all bad. You need to stop what you're doing right now and you need to get in touch with somebody that knows what they're talking about and that's gonna promote a healthy way to live for the rest of your life. And it literally frustrates me and I get so angry because I come across these people or hear these stories about people doing these crazy things and these crazy diets and taking all of these supplements just to look a certain way, just to look skinny, just to see this number on the scale. All the meanwhile knowing that when they eventually get to that scale or they get to this thing, something else is gonna come up and they're still not gonna love themselves. They're still not gonna feel fulfilled. They're still gonna look for external reasons to try and make them have more self-confidence or more self-efficacy. And that's not, we're a, what, that's not what I'm about. That's not what OPT is about. That's not what our philosophy is about. Our philosophy is about developing you from the inside out, right? Because that stuff's gonna come. As you start to work on yourself as a person, you start to, to, uh, you start to build true self-confidence, you're going to have healthier thoughts. You're gonna surround yourself with healthier people you're gonna listen to your body and you're gonna understand that your body doesn't want it eating these foods that will make you feel slow or make you feel sluggish or jack up your insulin levels and then you'll crash. Naturally, you're gonna to start to do these things. You're gonna to wanna to work out. And by working out, I don't necessarily mean you have to have you know, a gym to do stuff. You could be kayaking and hiking and swimming and biking and rock climbing. There's all sorts of things that you can consider as a form of physical fitness. We here use it in the form of, you know, personal training or group training. And so as you're approaching this topic of body image, you know, I really want people to understand the more that you start to study yourself, the more that you really look at, why do I want to look a certain way? Why do this happen? Why do I want to do these things? You're going to see that it's because of it's the outside influences and you're seeking outside approval, outside love. And you're gonna find out that even when you get to a certain point in your health and your fitness goals and you look a certain way, you're still gonna have those same thoughts. You're still gonna have those same worries and those fears and those insecurities because it came from out here. It didn't come from in here. When it comes from in here, you're gonna be a lot more happy, a lot more fulfilled. You're gonna have true self-confidence. And as a health and fitness professional or anyone that has a voice in the health and fitness industry, you should really understand how you're approaching your clients and what you're putting out there, right? So you'll never see an OPT poster with my 
clients or myself on a calendar and just shred it up wearing no clothes because what's the message I'm putting out there? In order for you to feel powerful, in order for you to feel sexy, in order for you to feel attractive, you gotta look a certain way. So you'll never see us do that because I'm not a stand for that. Because what we do is going to affect the younger kids that see that. That same lady that was in here this morning that took a picture of those whiteboards told me that her four-year-old daughter is already having body image issues because she sees these things on TV and she sees these things here. And so she's, mom, I wanna look like this, or mom, I wanna look like this. Already at four years old, that's when it starts. And if you truly wanna be a person that wants to make a change in someone's life from the platform of health and fitness, then you need to be a bigger stand for developing people in here, right? And the extra stuff, I'm not saying that the abs and the nice legs or the butt or whatever is a bad thing, right? But that shouldn't be your main focus point because that stuff's gonna come. I can go find someone out on the street right now that has a six pack that's never worked out in a day in their life. They just have really great genetics. Just because they have a six pack doesn't make them healthy. Just because they have a great ass doesn't make them healthy. Just because they look a certain way doesn't make them healthy. What makes you healthy is how you view yourself, how you treat other people, the message you carry, what you're a stand for in this world, how you make others feel about themselves. That's making a huge difference. That's what's gonna make long lasting, powerful impacts towards people. And so you, if you are a person that's struggling with body image, I'm telling you this right now, do not Set your goals on external factors. Don't let these pictures and these videos and these people tell you what you should look like to feel sexy, what you should look like to feel attractive, what you should look like to feel beautiful, what you should do to have self-confidence, that you have to look this certain way because you're gonna get to that point and you're gonna still hate yourself. You're still gonna have fears that keep you up at night. You're still gonna have insecurities that keep you from doing what you truly love in life. You literally have to change your whole world of how you view yourself, the things that you watch, the books that you read, the people that you interact with. And the more healthy, the more healthier you are, all of a sudden, all these outside things become more and more healthy as well. And you naturally will start eating better, right? You are gonna start to get the goals that you wanna do. You are gonna start losing weight. You're gonna start losing body fat. Your body's gonna become strong and powerful and you're gonna be able to do things that you've never been able to do before. And then when you get to your goal, you're gonna feel very fulfilled. You're gonna feel a lot of self-worth. But that doesn't come from looking a certain way from an external world. I promise you that. I promise you that. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've trained hundreds of people, put in thousands of work. And from young children all the way up to six-year-old adult, body image is something that people struggle with. Why? Because it doesn't come from in here. And once it comes from in here, that's when everything starts to shift. Your body is nothing more than a vessel for your spirit. And when you grasp that, you understand that how powerful your spirit is, and you understand that your, your vessel, right, that's carrying it is just as important, and you're gonna wanna carry that. You're gonna want to develop that vessel in a strong and a healthy and a positive way. So, don't let these external things push you. Let that, that love, that passion, that internal spirit pull you and guide you in this journey of your health and fitness or wherever you're at in your life, you're gonna end up being a lot healthier in general and be able to do a lot more than you possibly thought you ever could. You're gonna become a stronger person, a more happy person, a more self-fulfilled, more self-loving person. And from that, you're gonna be able to connect with so many people in so many ways. And if you need help and you are struggling with body image issues, feel free to contact me. OptimalAZ at Yahoo.com. You can shoot me a text or call me 480-213-1210. Um, this is something that I'm very passionate about, a topic that I could talk uh, about hours. I got a lot of good resources. I got, I got a lot of good books um, because I want people to be healthy. And looking a certain way doesn't make you healthy.